Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the meta man himself, Valverde, to check out. Uh, as you guys know, the player of the month card, honestly, if you were to still use that card nowadays, it wouldn't be a horrible choice because uh, Valverde is one of those types of guys in this game where he just has like those meta characteristics. Like he just, in game, he just plays really really well right uh he's six foot tall high high right footed four star four star obviously starting off really nicely uh in-game player traits sorry just transfer list and stuff in-game player traits he's got the injury prone trait long shot taker in-game attributes this is how the card is formatted right so what's interesting about valverde guys right is that if you guys have used his previous versions right let's say for instance you were to give him the architect chemistry style and you were to make him a lengthy player I'm going to tell you this right now, that would not be a horrible choice to work with because this card on an architect chemistry style, just from his player of the month version, is fantastic. Why? Because he's one of those cards where defensively in game, I don't feel like I have to improve his defensive stats. He's one of the very, very few cards where it actually feels that way with his high defensive work rate. So if you were to give him an architect and you wanted to work with those long distance runs, right? Because it's a card that's going to have to defend really well, you know, cover uh, cover people uh, in certain situations. It'll work out great because he's 87, 96. The sprint speed higher than the acceleration is super important. However, um, if your play style is going to be a little bit different, depending on the situation of how, again, you're playing, you can give him the engine chemistry style. Why? Because you boost the pace, you boost the dribbling to be in a good area so it's as responsive as possible, and then he's working with really good passing um, capabilities, right? The card, when it comes to shooting, is also going to be in a great area. 75 for finishing, so you do have to work high percentage strikes to score most of your opportunities, uh, but he does have a 90 for shot power, which can be very nice. Uh, passing on the card is in a fantastic area. Dribbling, we're obviously going to be experimenting with it in game at six foot height, unique body type. From what I've experienced in the past, his dribbling is not necessarily the most responsive, but he compensates in everywhere else. Uh, defensive stats will be in the mid 80s area, high 80s area. Um, and then for physical capabilities, he's got really high stamina to work with the high, high work rates. Good physical stats with 86 strength, 88 aggression, and all of that good stuff. So um, with Valverde in-game, guys, um, I'm actually going to be using him uh, in this Pro Player 4-3-2, one that I've actually been experimenting with recently, which is genuinely very good. Um, it's going to be in this team right here. Um, so yeah, 4 3 2 one Playing him in the right center mid position on stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box of the cross, as well as cover center. So, yeah, we'll see how he plays on that instruction, which kind of makes sense for him because of his height and stuff. And uh, hopefully he is a beast. Starting off hot, Valverde. Nice. Well, there's a you beast. There it is. Well done, boys. Wasteful again in possession. Vinicius Junior. Oh, Valverde, that's AI right there. Oh, we got it. I'll very day again. This guy's a monster, man. He's so meta, dude. Nice, man. This guy's so good. Unlucky, it would have been a good play if I actually got that pass off. Nice. I love this guy, man. Now we're good. Valverde, you are an absolute monster. I love you. Well, the 
Sixers have controlled possession, as you can see, but they've shown a real lack of invention today. One or two of their more talented players need to step up. Look at this guy, man. Whichever team wins four of those battles will win the game. Federico Valverde. Mbappe. Vinicius Junior. But he put it in. Yes. At that 45, nice little green time shot. That's what they require. Conte. This guy is incredible, man. Me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And on the menu, live coverage of the Champions Finals. How's it going to go, Stuart? And it might be. Oh, dude, even gets a goal for me. Look at this guy. He even gets a goal for me, man. I got it. Today. AI hey, gets that. Committed challenge. Oh, he's got the reach. Vinicius Junior. Great opportunity. And off the post. Man. Nah, he's there. Nice. Good. Good stuff, boys. Knew that. Beauty. Good play, boys. Good play, good play. This guy, bro. I love this guy, man. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Thibaut Courtois is the keeper of choice. Marcos Acuna plays with Ashraf Hakimi in the fullback positions. And playing up front, will he finish? Aw, oh, man, you're not... Did he use manual goalkeeping there? I'm not sure if he did. There you go. Well done. Oh, now it's gonna be sluggish, man. Come on. Teo Hernandez. Now with Forlan. I love this card so much, man. I know I keep saying it, but like it's crazy how good he is. Why do you not let me dribble, man? Oh, thank goodness. Should be a pen, yeah. I was about to say, because I'm pretty sure that hit his hands from the challenge, too. Gotta give it to Valverde on that one. He's gonna predict the middle, for sure. Oh! Oh! Ah! I really thought he'd predict the middle, because, like, end of the game and stuff, you know? Open nets, nice. Let's go, boys. That's AI right there. Federico Valverde. And return to Correa. Mbappe! Mbappe! Moving into the advanced position, but nothing comes of it. Valverde. 
Mbappe. Hakimi. Oh, this is looking promising. Looking for the angle. Good. Extra pass, extra pass, extra pass. You gotta get those extra passes, bro. No oh, man. Just give me the ball, EA. These little em emphasis touches, like, even with the top-class players, like, stop doing that. Oh, thank goodness I have Mbappe. High-low work rates with high pace will get him into those positions quickly enough. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Valverde card. So, guys, Valverde, like, here's the thing about this card, okay? It would have been nice if they made Xabi Alonso like him, right? With the way that they format him. I'm telling you, it would have been really nice, uh, especially in his case, because he has the four-star, four-star capability. Like, it would have been sick. Because here's the thing about this card. No matter how you use him, he's still a monster. But... The unique thing about him is that for me personally, he's one of the midfielders that, in my opinion, even when I give him the architect chemistry style, right, and I boost the physical and I boost the passing, with his defensive stats being as it is, he still defends like a monster. But the thing is, right, is that, you know, because he's a taller player and he's working on an architect with a high, high work rate, what's fantastic about him is that for those long distance runs, Look at how his pace is formatted. His pace is formatted with 87 acceleration, 96 for sprint speed. Sure, initial acceleration, you're gonna feel like, oh, it's whatever. But the fact that he still can defend well without me feeling like I need to give him a shadow is crazy, right? And it was the exact same thing with the player of the month card. Even after that patch happened where, you know, controlled players and explosive players became really good, I still preferred him on the architect over the shadow because that running animation right especially with pace being super important in this game is super helpful to work with so if you're playing with a card like this in your cdm position as your balance oriented player you could totally do that if you're playing him in a center mid position as a stay back while attacking player you could totally do that you can use him as a little bit more attacking oriented but if you do that it might make more sense to give him the engine chemistry style so that when you are building up the play right when you're building up the play you still give him the pace boost you give him the dribbling boost and the passing boost but he has more attacking capabilities what was interesting about him is that i was using him in that right center position most of the times and it's a stay back while attacking instruction but he still sometimes got involved in the attack and scored some opportunities for me but the defensive animations that this card makes when i don't even give him a defensive boost is the main kicker here so in regards to top tier meta no he's not as good as a, someone like a team of the year bellingham bellingham is that top top tier meta but i would say valverde is just below that one right like in, if i was gonna go like s and a for the top tier that would be the difference between the two because bellingham is literally perfect if you guys have ever used bellingham's card nuts right but he's also like significantly more expensive granted but i'm just letting you know quality difference in game whatever uh you know the, the team of the year icon a whole it's that guy's a different breed too right but um yeah no they did a fantastic job of valverde uh, guys it was to be seen because this card i'm not joking when i say this i'm being so dead serious if you still use this card in your team you're not wrong to do so because he still plays like a beast because you can still give him an architect. And even with those defensive stats, he still defends like a beast. The amount of times I've had this guy for review accounts. And I'm like, I, I would I would be doing a tactic video, right? And I'm like, how am I going to fit? I, every single time, every time, bro, I'm telling you. How am I going to fit Valverde in my team? I need Valverde in my team. Because the, these midfielders, they're annoying me like crazy. Every single time, okay? And he's just, he's just he's that guy, bro. He's that guy. So listen. If you get lucky enough and you pack the Team of the Year version, good for you. He's a monster in game. Not as good as Team of the Year Bellingham. Bellingham's a different breed, but he's a fantastic card. Guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.